Real life street stars, man. Jay motherfucking Lewis, man. What the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> Uh, welcome to Dallas, man. Come, 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 man. come, coming through fucking with us, man. It's a oh, blessing yeah. to have you here. Appreciate y'all having me, man. First and foremost, how, well, how's it going, man? How's life treating you, man? God damn it, man. Well, I'm good right now, bro. Corona done fucked shit up a little bit, but we still straight. Yeah, we, we still, still straight. kicking, man. Bad Brudge, man. Yeah. Yeah, born and raised, you know what born I'm saying? Born and raised. Oh, uh, it's crazy, man, because it feel like Bad Brudge, like I was just telling you off camera, been having a wave for so long, man. How did y'all snatch the wave from New Orleans like that? Man, bro, I can't say, bro. You was you was a DJ, I, so you yeah. Talk- I see. I was DJing at one point of time. Like you know, you had the whole cash money mm-hmm. shit. Like you had every, you had a lot of people from fucking uh, Master P, No Limit. The whole yeah. No Limit was from New Orleans. Like they, they was take, they was fucking shit up. So when did you see the switch? Like who, who was like the first? Was it Boosie and them that just kind of? I say Boosie was in it though. Around that time though, you know what I'm saying? Right. Boosie been in it. Right. Trill Entertainment, wherever they been in it, you know what I'm saying, around that time. So, but just what made the switch to where, like, Bad Rudge just took over, like? Young boy. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Young boy. That's what's up. Facts. I only speak facts, you know what I'm saying? Give props on this dude. He fucked this stick up. Now, so, you know, it's funny because, you know, L.A., Miami, New York, they all been doing their shit for a minute, man. Right. For a young nigga coming up, out of Baton Rouge, man. Where, like, do there be like spots to record it that niggas know of that, like, you know, that niggas come through the city and fuck with, or you just gotta kind of get it out the mud and just? I mean, I pretty everybody that come to Baton Rouge, they always call me. You know what I'm saying, asking for like a studio or anywhere. But shit, like, I always be like having some shit at my house. I don't really record like nowhere in the city, cause I I can record all my own shit. I record myself. I mix and master my own shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so my homeboys or somebody come in or some, you know. Uh, they'll come out of the crib and record. Or oh, shit, if I do record it anywhere in Baton Rouge, I record at Mouse Studio. I feel like he got one like the, one of the best studio setups in Baton Rouge, like period. That's real. So I gotta ask you personally then, what do you feel like uh, was your big break, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know, everyone's in this shit for fun until it starts kind of getting them some kind of sums, you know, right. getting them some money. What was your big break where you like, okay, we, we kind of switching over to this, you know, this shit getting kind of serious right now? Vine. When, mm. when the fucking when the Vine came out, oh, yeah. Vine, I wasn't I wasn't rapping or nothing then. Yeah. I was like I wasn't even really DJing. It was like just a, it, it just it was a point that I was just like, damn, what do I want to do? I know I want to be, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like I know a lot of people a lot of people fuck with my personality, so they be like, oh, you need to be a comedian or something like that. But I'm not no comedian. That's just me. Like you know what I'm saying? I always joke around. Yeah. I feel like no time serious. Somebody could just been died or something. I'm still gonna joke around. That's just how I am. Like. Right. You know, it but, never. But but the crazy part is, I feel like you have a song called "I Hope," right. which which captured your personality because that was the most flagrant. This is to me, <laughs> this to me is the best diss song to a bitch you can't stand or anybody you can't stand. Yeah. What's the most flagrant thing you said in there? Because I got one. You said something. I hope you. Your, your boyfriend, fuck your baby and mama, and I hope he loses his mind every time we go out. <laughs> what, is yeah. the, what is the line in there that you think just uh, was the most flagrant shit you did? I, I, in that song? Yeah, because you got two of them now. I hate the song. You do? Yeah, I don't like the song. <laughs> Why did you make part two? Because you see what part one did? Part one finna go go. So I, I asked, you know, it's, if it's a situation where the fans want to know, they asking for part three, four through 15 right now. So she, they want to see how, how fucked up it could get. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, it wasn't no thought process in the song. I was sleep on the couch. You know what I'm saying? They was in there making the beat. I woke up out my sleep. Like I say, it's never a serious time with me. So I'm like, man, I'm about to make a song. Just wishing bad shit on somebody. <laughs> I'ma call that bitch I hope. And I just got on that bitch and I kept I hope, I hope, I hope. And then shit got like it got deeper and deeper. I just kept going with it until I got tired with it. So I just can imagine you being a nigga that can skull on everybody. You be firing niggas up. Don't you? <laughs> I don't really you be like a nigga that be firing niggas up. I don't be doing, you know, a lot of people get serious and shit and they be getting they get to the point if you do be firing their ass up, they don't be wanna let you talk. Yeah. They be trying to keep going and going. So yeah. that that'll start a fight. So with you, you know what I'm saying, like you're saying, being a DJ and one of the, the go-to people in the city, like, have you touched, have you rubbed shoulders with Kevin Gates, Boosies, you know what I'm saying? Because you got songs with, like, G Money, rest in peace. Yeah. You got songs with, you know, all these, you know, big I, artists. I got songs with I everybody, really. Tech, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Kane, Mr. Kane. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have you rubbed shoulders with every, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you mean, like, made a song? Yeah, have you, like, chopped it up with Kevin uh, Gates? Have oh, you done music? I used to DJ for Kevin Gates. I've been on Kevin Gates since, ele- since I was in elementary. I used to DJ for him. Oh, that's right. Like, right before, like, the big break, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like before the whole Earl incident and shit like that, you know, yeah. like before, like right before that, like yeah. I was on the road and shit with Gates. I was young, I was still in fucking high school. And you wasn't rapping at the time? Nah. What? Did you ever? I was DJing. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about rapping. But you rapping. didn't think like, damn, let me go and get my little feature. <laughs> nah, I wasn't on that. I, that's what I wanted to do, because I was like one of the youngest DJs ever to do it from BR, like, you know what I'm saying, to have a name. I was going to school, I was, I went to Skylandville, you know what I'm saying, Skylandville High. I was going to school on Wednesdays and shit. I was at the club and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? DJ ain't seeing my teachers and shit now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, boy, you better not say nothing when you get back to school. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. <laughs> really? I'd seen my teachers do some fucked up shit in the club, drunk and shit. Yeah. Out there by it, like, you know what I'm hey, saying? And hey, I've been nah, seeing nah, hey, it. Hey, fuck all that, fuck all that. What's been, the, been, hey, what's the wildest shit you seen the teacher do? <laughs> all right, so look, all right, so check so this out. I, mean, I ain't gonna say their name. You know, I ain't gonna do yeah, that. Go, I ain't go, fucked go. up like that. <laughs> Let's just say, uh, uh, all right, so. I had the social studies teacher. <laughs> I used to see him kind of like flirt around with one of the, like a math teacher or some shit like that every day. Like it just used to be like, I used to be like, man, they fucking. <laughs> like straight up, like that nigga knocking her down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but shit, I had a DJ at a Decker shop. I was fucking 16. I wasn't even old, old enough to be in a Decker shop. I'm in that DJ and shit. <laughs> I, I, see, I see him at the bar. I'm like, damn, that's Mr. You know, I'm like, damn, that's him. <laughs> Then I look, I look like five minutes later, the teacher, the math teacher, they at the bar, they was hugged up, like he got a, his hand on the head, like squeezing the shit, like, you know That's what I'm saying? Critical. I'm like, damn. So when she, she had ended up leaving, so I had came up, I had came up to him, and, and uh, he like, what the fuck you doing in here? I'm like, man, I'm DJing. I'm like, but I seen it. And he was like, man, you been not saying nothing. I'm like, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna be like, I knew it. You know, I, just, I was just like, I knew it. Like, it fucked me up though. Every time, you know, he used to let me skip in his class and everything after that. You know what I'm saying? Man, to keep, man, I never went to 11th or 12th grade. Never oh, done the same. I, I got him. I got my diploma. That's how deep it got. Like, I got cool with the teachers and shit. I was DJing for the school. You know what I'm saying? I was in. I ain't so never. You was that nigga, really? You was that nigga. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So. So, then what, at hey, young, so at what point did you just say fuck it and pick up the mic? Cause you, you got a lot of hits, you got a lot of views. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, um, at what point did you pick the mic up? I say, summer, summer fifteen, summer fifteen. How old was you then? I'm gonna say like nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. I started. I said, I was like, let me fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was, it was a point of time. A lot of niggas was in jail. Everybody was in jail at the time. It wasn't no rappers coming out of Baton Rouge. That's how I knew it, and I was already DJing. You know what I'm saying? When you, you do a DJ, you got a, a, a kind of sense of, well, you know what people want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Or what kind of beats nigga like? You know, like, I don't know if you ever pay attention to my music, my beat selection. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it play a big part in that. I know, you know what I'm saying, where to drop the beats at, where to cut. I know what, what if, if I come up with a chant or some shit like that, like club fucking, you gotta think about it like a church, you know what I'm saying? You Man. you a preacher in a, in, a, in, a, in a way, you know what I'm saying? You the preacher. Man, nah, I never looked at it like that. Yeah, you know, look at it, look at it. See, that's how I looked at it, you know what I'm saying? I broke it down. I'm like, damn, like, I, what's a way that I could, I, could, I could break this down, you know what I'm saying? And simplify it, like, you know what I'm saying, for me. Cause I don't, I knew a lot of people, but I ain't know nothing about rapping or no shit like that. So I just used what I knew, you know, I went for what I knew. So I gotta ask you, uh, just real quick, a DJ, do you feel a DJ has a better ear for breaking, you know, what, what's a hot record or a stripper? Most definitely. DJ play a big part. Oh. Big part. Do, do, you feel, do you feel DJ has a better ear than a stripper? Say it again. Do you feel like a DJ has a better ear for what's a, what's a hot song than a stripper? No. Okay. No, I yeah. feel like strippers, they know. They know. They know, they know they're in there. Yeah. They, they, they performing in there. So they know what songs and shit hit and, you know what I'm saying, what could be a potential song. They're a part of it. That's big facts. Now, um, of course, you mentioned Vine and, you know, uh-huh. turning up with that. And then, you know, everything Vine is, you know, gone by the wayside now. Right. You got, you got TikTok now. You got, yeah. the, you got the I Hope move, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that shit was going viral on that. No, man, no one knows when shit goes. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get a, like, wake up in the morning, you get a text like, bro, you know your shit is. I had got a um, mention on Twitter. Shit had like 600,000 retweets on it, yeah. like from one of the songs. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, 
And it was on there for like a week. I'm like, damn, like ain't nobody tell me that shit. And then it switched. Let me tell you how it switched. Like, man, it switched from being black people fucking with it. It, it switched from, it, when I first put it out, a lot of people was like, eh, like, this fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? They was looking at it like in a fucked up way. Yeah. Mamas and shit was like, oh, you know, kids was telling me, man, I got in trouble for listening to that song. Yeah. Now it's the older people. Come and tell me you, oh, you funny, like you know what I'm saying. She like, like oh, it's all older people, like you know what I'm saying. Like they like, you know, I liked it, and so I kind of got the older people with it. So it's the younger people and the older people, cause you know the kids on TikTok, whatever they listening to and shit, they mamas and shit seeing it, so it done fucked the world up. Like, do you ever feel like you a prisoner of your success? Cause I always feel like you know, like you know when you make a song that you don't really fuck with, but then it becomes the song that is, you know, yeah, that you know. Yeah, right now with that song. And they don't yeah. hear like all it's the like, other wild dope shit you didn't It's think. like, I got this song. I know this bitch good. It's a positive song. I ain't even saying nigga in the song. You know what I'm saying? But I say this song and it's fucked up because right. negativity really runs the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you'll see a negative post on Instagram or on social media before you see a positive one. Niggas not fuck with no positive shit. Nigga not trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, they're just preaching. That's what niggas saying. If you on here telling niggas some positive shit, they don't want to hear that bullshit. Put a fight on her. Put a fight up. I'm trying to see a fight. I'm trying to see fight somebody shit. fucking with something, you know? Yeah, real talk. Why haven't you made a video? Huh? Why ain't you never make no video? Because I knew at the time wasn't up yet. Oh, I, okay. I knew it. Like, I, I started the video, but I stopped it. I'm like, man, something, something else gonna happen. I'm like, it ain't over with for the song. And just when I said that, so now the TikTok shit hit. Got over 100,000 100, people that made TikToks to it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Once the, once the little white girls get a hold of them. <laughs> but is, is they hell. It's gone. Is, 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 is they hell. That's why it's about to go gold. Like, my shit, like, everything's shooting up because of that song. Now, you mentioned, of course, negative shit on uh, IG and live and shit. I seen you kind of going in a little bit, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see you going in just a little bit. What you talking about? I mean, you know, I'm not... You, Jay Mayweather. Yeah, yeah, Jay, Jay Mayweather is what they, what they call this man. I, I seen the situation, man, and it, it, the way it came to me, it was titled, Jay Lewis Goes In on uh, Eddie. And I'm looking at it like, man, what's going on? But I, I, wa I mean, I'm, I watched the whole shit. I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to see what's going on. And it, it let me know your character, man. Like, man, you know, this shit right here is rah-rah. You know what the right. fuck, man? I'm you know I, you know I, I'm a happy nigga. This shit is just some left field shit. Right? Do you care to touch in on that? On for those that may have not seen it, as far as your mentality with posting that live video, at least just the live video. I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know what this shit was about. Like I don't know. Don't Still, know. To this day, to this day I do not. Can... I do not know. Man. I didn't get no type of letter saying you know the shit that happened that I said. This was because I felt like this, none of that shit. It's, I never got a notification. I don't know what the shit was about. Man, you know what's funny? Because when I see stuff like that, I always think like, man, there's a backstory that, right. that, that, that the backstory world just don't know about. from the same city, right? No. Okay. He, he from Bogalusa. Oh, okay. That's ditched. No. I, I'm thinking there's something that maybe we haven't seen where like either running or maybe some DMs that just, you know, no. we don't know. So I'm like, damn, this- I always fuck with him. <laughs> I never said nothing negative about the dude. I, I'm telling you, bro, I do not know. I ain't never done no pussy shit to nobody, never hating on no nigga. I get props on this dude, everybody. I know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't know. I so don't how, know. How do you feel about that? Like, cause that, that almost happens to almost everybody who starts leveling up, right? Right. Start catching all kind of media attention, good, bad, right. whatever. How do you handle that? You know what I'm saying? I turned it into some positive shit. I joked off it. I do what I do best. I made a joke out of it and it pushed me up. So you, you hate it or whatever you done. I don't know what I don't know what you whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? But you really boosted me up. You gave me some shit. I wasn't doing nothing that day, no way. You know what I'm saying? I was bored that day, I was chilling. That shit just hit. You just gave me something to joke off of. See, now you know about it. Now everybody know about the situation. So who really won? I don't know, you know, like I said, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I got him on us, I got me and him got a song and everything. I've been fucking with him. I don't know what happened. Don't know what that was about. And then you had another public, you know, what is it like to have a public, somebody you date and it become public? You know what I'm saying? Where the blogs and tabloids start picking. Um, for those who don't know. It's aggravating. You, de you know what I'm saying? You were dating um, Janelle or whatnot. I wasn't dating. We wasn't dating. Oh, well, that's what the tabloids. No, it was an entanglement. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. It was just an entanglement. Entanglement. Yeah. Okay. That's what we wasn't dating, though. Yeah. But how did, how that did was it, my dog. But how does it feel when, like, 
you know, because they always make us look like the bad ones, you know what I'm saying, whenever we get posted. Most and then you can't man. say shit. When you say shit, it always looks bad when you respond. You know what I'm saying? So how did you, how did you deal with that situation? I didn't. <laughs> man, I just be going with life, dog. Real talk. I don't think too hard on shit. I don't be trying to figure out game plans. None of this whole, like, this whole rap career and shit that I got now was not planned. Like, it's just some shit I go day by day with, like, you know? I never know. I never, I never know. You might wake up tomorrow, you might see some other shit. Like, damn, this nigga Jay just be <laughs> doing shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, like. But on, but on a positive note, um, you're signed to Cash Money, right? Mm hmm How did that come about? So you 19 years old, you, you finally started rapping. At what point did Cash Money see the talent in you and say, man, we got to get uh, I hope. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hope. Shit. Uh, before I signed the Cash Money, QC reached out. Yeah. Yeah. You also seen the situation of, I seen 15 on 1. Uh, what, like, what, what, from the day you got in the game, like, who's all that you've been associated with as far as just from labels? Uh, used to fuck with, I was fucking with Gates at one point in time. So the BWA situation, Cash Money, QC reached out. You know what I'm saying? Really, like, I just be having relationships with a lot of people. Like, you know, I feel like this whole thing really is just based off relationships, having good relationships. I don't have no burnt bridges with nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't do no pussy shit to nobody. Yeah, you know? like a good, good yeah I'm cool, bro. I be chilling. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they be thinking, I don't know. Like, I don't. niggas be wanting to be gangster all the time, though. Like, you can turn your gangster knob off sometimes. Like, it's cool to laugh and smile and shit. Like, you gotta be gangster all the time, bro. It's cool to laugh, bro. Nah, for real, for real. <laughs> nah, for real, for real. For real, um, man. Man, so yeah, like you said, it's about relations and building your network. Um, you have anyone under you that you're trying to get a situation with the label, like label going with uh, artists under you and using your networks and your relationships to kind of, you know, feel into that? Right now, I am. How's it looking? How's it looking? Uh, see, but we, I, haven't, I haven't started really, like, I haven't locked in with anybody yet. I just got my label established and shit, like, last week. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like last week. So at the moment, right now, we looking for artists and shit. So it's gonna go up though, you know. Def, def. I just landed another situation that I don't really want to talk about right now, but it's it's a big one. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be big. But you got a you got a song with my boy uh, YNC Wap. Uh, and it's WNC. funny. WNC. WNC Wap. My yeah. Bad. And it's funny because uh, we went to Bay Bay's uh, uh, Bash and Coco Pellas. We actually filmed it. He performed that song that you own. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's our yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that shit is so live, and, I, and he's live. You know what I'm saying? How did that collab come about? You know what I mean? We grew up together. Oh, that's live. Man, everybody from Baton, man, I grew up with everybody from Baton Rouge. Like everybody, see the artists and shit. Like you know, a lot of people see that that them blew up and shit. I grew up with everybody. So I used to fuck with everybody before I started rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When I seen no, when I seen Wap started going up, I had I want to say I booked his second show. He ever oh, did that's like. Hard. I booked, I booked him for his second show. It was like at his little house party and shit like that. And then when everybody had their phones out and shit, watching them perform and shit, I was like, damn, man, like that nigga good, cause Baton Rouge ain't seen no shit like that in a minute. Bro. Like, especially, you know, like, you know, somebody that's entertaining, like got stage presence, you know? Right. Really like, you know, he had the, it wasn't a lot of people there, you know what I'm saying? I wanna say it was like 80 people, 60 people, some shit like that, but he was rocking that bitch. Everybody was fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I was in the club, like I said, Coco Pellis, bro. He made me take note. Mind you, Mo Three was there, and that's our nigga. Yeah. It, he, it was a bunch of different, but uh, Hurricane Chris, that nigga rocked that bitch harder than any. I was like, man, what the that song, fuck? That song fucked the streets up, bro. Yeah, yeah. That song fucked the streets up. Yeah, any club you go to in Louisiana, you're going to hear it. No matter what hole in the wall, right. the bougie club, you're going to hear the song. You're going to hear the bitch at least four times. You know what I'm saying? Um, You got a song called Black Step. And yeah. I think that's my personal favorite one that I heard from you. So Glock yeah. Step? Yeah, Glock I fuck Step. with it. it. I don't know, it just, that bitch just jammed. I got Blue Face on the remix. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I let y'all hear you. That's man. hard. Yeah. Um, for you, is it just easy for you to put songs together because you, like you say, you DJ, you know what a hit is? Like, is it just so easy for you to do it? or? It's more of a feel now. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like a real thought process on it. You know, cause I feel like when you think too hard about some shit, like the shit never go right. Like, you know? Yeah. You know, like it just never do. That's like right. a lot of people that record on Pro Tools, they probably know what I'm talking about. A lot of people they record on the grid. You know what I'm saying? Grid meaning directly on the lines, you know, shit directly lined up. But I feel like it's too perfect. 
Some shit need to be off. Some shit need to be off. So I go slide. You can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Leave some, leave some of them notes off. You can't quantitize everything or FL, you know what I'm saying? I know how to make beats. I know how to do everything. I know how to do, I know how to shoot videos and edit them bitches. I know how to work yeah, Photoshop. Yeah. I know how to do everything. I just don't do this shit no more. Nah, I tell like, everyone, at least, at least know how to do it. So when you pay the niggas who's doing it, you know, you know they, what, you, you know, know they fucking up. Like, right, you know right, 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 right. Man, or you could teach them. It's, not, it's probably not, not necessarily they fucking up. They just probably don't know how. Man, it's a lot of people that went to school and shit for, for audio engineering and shit like that. They really don't know that shit garbage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, them people, I feel like them people not in the studio enough. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They just thinking, like, a lot of shit. Like, I feel like unmix, a lot of unmixed songs sound better than mixed master hey, song, master hey, song. Hey, dude, bro. I, I, Get your ass beat. Not mix, not master. I hope not mix, not master. Man. I hope that shit like I. They, go they love, they love yeah, it, but they it's, love I feel like it sound better though. I feel like they that love. shit just be too clean. Sometimes like they just fire. kill it. It, it, make it sound different from the regular. Like when I be hearing shit that wasn't mastered and it's a hit, and then they put it on the radio, I be like that shit. Don't yeah. It don't sound right. It's too, it's too perfect. It's too like fire. yeah, that's real. That's real. That's, that's My real. biggest records, them bitches not mix the master. Like man, I, I want to ask you. Uh, uh, of course, uh, there was a situation uh, that happened yesterday, man, with uh, Lil Marlo, man, uh, R.I.P. Lil Marlo. Uh, you know, um, he was out there in his section, man, in Atlanta. Um, you, you being an artist that have, you know, fame, and you get to a level of, you know, where people are gonna know you, people are knowing you. Um, does it make you want to move any different when it comes to like, if you go back to your hometown, you go out and about. Uh, you know, as far as just, yeah. you know, just being, not, I don't even want to say too like, carefree, but just being too comfortable in certain situations. Most make definitely. You You're a target. Everybody know who you is. There's yeah. always a nigga somewhere trying to prove some shit. Always. It's always, and you got to watch out for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why a lot of shit, like, a lot of, in a in sense, like, when you be out and shit at the mall, you know, nigga be trying to get out close and shit, you know, when you go to, you know, you ain't got no problem speaking to a nigga, but, they take it as a, you know, oh, nigga think he bougie. That'll spark some shit off, like, right quick. Like, I'd have been in plenty of situations. Like, you don't even know me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for you to even be talking about nigga think he bougie. This is your first time meeting me. You asked me for a picture. You know what I'm saying? You mad because I don't want to do the extra shit? I don't know you. You can't get mad because I don't know you. You got to respect it. You know, you could be trying to hurt a nigga, whatever. Boom, you go to dap a nigga up. You shoot a nigga in the side or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you never know niggas' intentions. So you can't get mad, nigga just moving different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know who got ill intentions, like, you know, so you be having to be up on game on this shit, you know? So, of course, you gotta move different. Do you think that part of the game fucks up the passion of music? Yeah. Yeah, Cause it's bro. like, you'll see an artist year one, that nigga be enthusiastic in a bit. Year two, you just see the love fading, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, when, when I first popped off, I was everywhere. Like, you know, all the hoods, shooting video, blah, 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 but then when you go to think about it, like, damn, like, a lot of niggas didn't die like this. You know what I'm saying? So you start being realistic about it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it, it, it ain't being bougie, it's being cautious. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be cautious in this game. It do fuck up. Like, it, it make, like when I go places and shit, I have a hood on. I, you know, it's mad, it's been masks. We've been having to wear masks and shit. Yeah, yeah. Niggas still know who you is. Like, nigga, I be like, how? Nigga, like, nigga know you by your eyes. Like, man, I'm telling you, bro, I done had hood masks on. Oh man, you J. Lou, how the fuck can you even see that? Like, how the fuck? How See, the but fuck? that's the thing, though, like, you know, most people don't be like, man, I don't be into nigga shit like that, but right. there be fans out there that really be into your shit, like, man. and you be like, Nick, like, right now, I don't know if you have a Wikipedia on yourself or not, but if you do, yeah, there's niggas that... One. That, that like, be honest shit. that shit, like. You go to type in your name in Google, you see with everything, everybody done typed up. Like, it's some right. weird shit. That, like, I'd be looking on it, it'd be like, how many kids does J. Lewis have? Like, <laughs> it was like, at this time, we only know he has zero. And, but, <laughs> like, at this time, they'd be like, you know, but, you know, we still looking into it. Like, yeah, yeah. Google tell you this shit, we still looking into it. Like, you know. Wow, shit, it's, They really be in your business. Like, you know, people really want to know who you are. Nah, for real. You know what I'm real. saying? Your personality play a big part in this shit, bro. Big. Your music could be asshole garbage. If you big. got a good personality, that shit take you a long way. But I do gotta ask you, man. When you do have a public relationship with a with a girl that's pretty famous, did your did your DMs kind of go through the roof? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's like hoes just be hoes see some shit like that and still be yeah, wanting to fuck that. with you. 
Like, yeah, like that's what I think that's what hoes be having on that. I got, yeah, take that nigga. Oh, that's who he fucking with. Oh, I know I look, you know what I'm saying? That shit be, it be wild, man. That shit crazy, bro. If you was to be like on the shade room, let's say like a girl had you in the bed like this, like who would you, who would the celebrity girl that you would, you know, I don't really about? like, I don't really like fuck with fans. I don't like that shit. It, it make it hard, bro. It's, it's hard, bro. You got you, you got two famous people, bro. Like you know people you blog sites and shit. You know right. they into that shit. They looking for some uh, old tweet or some shit, and you know what I'm saying they put shit together. They build shit. Does the internet? I got so much shit built on me, like on YouTube and shit. Like does the internet really affect what's going on in most that definitely? Damn, most definitely. Cause if you woke if you wake up that shit everywhere, you not show sure. like yeah. you gonna say I don't know, I don't know what the fuck fuck what you talking about. I'm seeing yeah. this shit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with you. like, hold on, like, what's really true? Like, he be like, you, get to, you gonna question, you hear me? You gonna question me against these people you yeah, don't like, even know? Nigga, you, you talking about what a media source said, like, man, ah, damn. Like, damn, bro, then they be ganging up on you. Man, I, I don't know this hoe, man. One of them YouTuber chicks, I don't know, bro. I don't know why they hoe don't like me. She like, man. It, it, one of them. One of them. I had to block her from everything. That bitch crazy. That's a crazy yeah. bitch. She got like six kids. So like, why you ain't focused on your kids? Why the fuck you focus on everything I'm doing? This shit, that hoe don't like me for some reason. I don't know what I did to her. Gonna she gonna tell you one day. Man, <laughs> everything on, every bad thing on YouTube is from her page. Like, God. she started that shit. Like, <laughs> dirty bitch. Yeah. So when you were, uh, when they shut down the world and the quarantine, did you have a quarantine bay or were you solo at that time? Man, I got locked in the house by myself. Oh, I was in that bitch. You know, you know, it was serious. It was real life lockdown yeah, shit. Like, it was on curfew. Yeah. Man, I was fucked up, man. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was tired of recording because I was in the house for like, I want to say like two months straight, like recording. I had been recording and shit. I had locked myself in already. Yeah. The day I go outside, I was finna, I want to say it was like getting towards the weekend. All my shows and shit had got canceled. I had like six shows. Everything got canceled. Everybody started calling back to back. I'm like, damn, this shit's serious. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then a lot of people and shit was tripping, like telling people they can't come outside the house and shit. Like, my auntie got a, man, I got this shit on my phone. She got a picture on her door. The only pre people she let in the house is her two sons. She said everybody else can't. She said not taking visitors right now due to COVID-19. Only people uh, that can get in the house is, is Fred and her other son. And I'm like, damn, that's that shit why. fucked up. This shit's serious. That's why. Did the quarantine fuck up the bag for you uh, at all? Not like I thought it would. I feel like okay. it made it better. Okay. I'd got some. I got some some money doing this shit. Cause I thought it would. I'm like, damn. I mean, I, of course, niggas get royalties and other left shit like that. But it seemed like the lockdown made niggas get in their bag. Like you know what I'm saying? As far as they work ethic and shit like that, niggas was still getting feet. Niggas was getting more features doing quarantine than you know. Man, yeah. I had to put man. Niggas cashing out. Niggas don't care. Then, you know, the weed packs and shit in, and niggas yeah, selling yeah. three fives for yeah. $80 and shit. Yeah. Niggas buying it. Niggas like, yeah, let me get 30. I'm like, damn, yeah. fuck type of money y'all touching. <laughs> Fucking all type of shit, man. It's fucked up. I feel, like it, I feel like it made it better for everybody in the system. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when this shit, I, don't, I know it'll never be over. You know what I'm saying? It's going to stick around. But when everybody start going back outside, it's gonna be, everybody's gonna start going outside. You see, this shit sparked off block parties and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it yeah. made life fun again. It's like a bitch, everybody had nightlife. It's like a bitch, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, like places like that old school fun. Like. Yeah, like, you know, outside, like, you know, it's yeah. freak nick air well around this bitch right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Freak and Man, out it's air well. You go outside, nigga, block a party right there outside. Like, damn, they got free food and everything. Yeah. It brought fun back, but you know, the niggas with the guns gonna fuck shit up. You know, so as always, have fun while, you know, get you a couple plates, get you some numbers or whatever, get the fuck up out of there. Yeah. I gotta ask you, man, um, when do you think black people gonna take this COVID shit serious, man? They do not. Black people don't take shit serious. <laughs> this is a joke. No Until they catch, no, when they catch it, that's when they wanna be crying and shit on Instagram. Oh uh, man, COVID-19 real, man. It fuck with me, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, you ain't gonna believe them people they told you that, that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, uh, in Texas, I think it was San Antonio, and niggas having a COVID party where they invite one nigga with the COVID to see if everybody was catching That's they, fucked up. That's, that's, that's I like true. Russian roulette. What the fuck? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, nigga died. Yeah, nigga actually. Oh, nigga, nigga said, died? Yeah, nigga died. I said, man, nigga, I, I, nigga, I think I fucked up. Yeah, the nigga actually caught it yeah. and then died 30 fucked years up. old. Yeah. So he That's won. Real. So hey. he won. Yeah, he won. Like, oh. That's fucked up. Hey, 
Do you think this shit's man-made? Most definitely. Yeah, but I, don't, I ain't trying to get kidnapped or no shit like I so I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You hear me? I can't say too much about that. I don't know. The, um, in your city, man, or just in the world, man, you know, they've been doing a lot of rioting and, you know, started with George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter, man. Have you been paying attention to all that? Have you made any music towards that? Have you been t- tuned in with the people with that? I haven't. I've seen, I've seen it, but I haven't been in tune with it or, like, really posting much about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like... Who am I to speak on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I talk about a lot of shit in my raps and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's not positive. I talk about, you know, fighting and sometimes they might talk about shooting or some shit like that. So I feel like I don't really have the right to really speak too much into that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I just kind of respect it by, you know, like, I show my respects, but I don't really want to get too deep into it, or, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people look for celebrities and shit to have the answers. That's the wrong people to have, look, be looking for fucking answers for yeah. <laughs> somebody that talk about shooting niggas and popping ass and shit like that all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. certain people just, just shut the fuck up about <laughs> shit. And I feel like I should, I just shouldn't say nothing about you it. You know what I'm people. saying? So, no, I am like, curious. just being realistic, like, you know. I, I am curious. You know, they've been doing some wild stuff as far as tearing down monuments. Yeah. Break, you know, throwing them away and stuff. If they could replace any of them Christopher Columbus type monuments for any black anything, who would you like to see a monument made of? I want to see Harriet Tubman on, on some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Give us that. Now. I want that. That's, what happened to that? We're supposed to get that. We're like, supposed to get that. Like 10 years Man, but look, though. I ordered this stamp. They got this stamp. You hear me? You got, like, Harriet Tubman face on them. Yeah. You could put that bitch on them. Like, you stamp oh, it, yeah. and it replaced the face on them. Right, yeah, that's gonna... this, this stamp was like $12. I got that shit off uh, Amazon or some shit like yeah. that. You can stamp it down and change it. I should have yeah, bought it. <laughs> yeah, so... But a lot of people don't take them. Like the, the ATM and shit, it won't take them. So you probably got to oh, go to, You can't do too many of them. Yeah, so, but it's, it's still, you know, currency. Yeah, like, so, yeah. Now, you did mention you used to stay out here, man, in the funk, man, Fort Worth, Texas, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy because it's a lot of, uh, Fort Worth is, is blowing up. There's a lot of young niggas out there doing their thing. Yeah. Did, you, did you tap into any Fort Worth artists now? Um, man. Don't, Dallas, don't fuck me up, you hear me? Cause I, no, like, like, no, I'm saying, cause like I was telling you earlier, yeah. there's a lot of people that say they from Fort Worth and a lot of people that say they from Dallas right. and they be fucking me up. So right. I don't be want to disrespect nobody, you know what I'm saying? So, right. but I, I fuck with a lot of people what, that I feel that, that's from Dallas. I fuck with a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like in Arlington, what, what, what's Arlington a part of? Uh, it's like right in the middle. Right in the middle? Yeah, it's literally. So Arlington is Arlington. Arlington. But is it still Texas? That's Arlington, Texas, right? Right. See, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I fuck with a lot of people from Texas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Texas. I fuck with a lot of people from Texas. I got a big fan base in Texas, no. So I, I fuck with Texas, home. Um, as far as the radio stations and stuff like that uh, uh-huh. in your city, do they support y'all music? Like, if we, if we were to come to uh, Baton Rouge, we cut on the radio. Are we gonna hear a lot of Baton Rouge artists, or is it just like every other radio station? No. On a mix show, you might hear um, who, uh, DJ Super Mike, he might, you know what I'm saying, throw it in the mix on certain, you know, it'd be certain days, like, I want to say, like, from two to five or something, they might be, you know, he might throw your shit in the mix, but it's a syndicated radio station, so they just play, like, a b- bunch of fucking Katy Perry and shit like that on there, and, yeah, like, you know, like the Billboard hits and shit like that, you know. So, it's, we don't have, like, a local radio station. It used to. It used to be local. But it got syndicated and shit. Some people bought it out, and it just ain't. But I feel like the radio, if we did have a radio station out there that did play local, we'll, it, it'll, fuck this, it'll fuck the game up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the radio station, it's a, it's a, if it was fun and niggas knew to listen to the radio, you know what I'm saying, and if somebody made radio fun again, like it'll play a big part. Now, radio dying? Like, I don't even listen to radio. Most like, definitely. Like, Most definitely. It, it, it is, bro. Niggas listening to Pandora and shit like that. Spotify playlists. It's all about playlists and shit now. So do they even play NBA Youngboy out there? Yeah. Okay, okay. He's he a major artist, you know what I'm saying? So but like, they don't really play him on the radio. So it's they weird. Don't? Nah, I don't really I mean, know. I wouldn't say like, like not a lot of new shit. You but it's just saying? in general. He's like one of the biggest artists. And it's on, crazy. Online, on YouTube, but they, he doesn't get no radio support. And that's weird. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how the radio work. Like, I don't know how that shit work. You can't, they don't even want your money. No, they, they, don't, they don't be wanting your money. They don't be caring. If you ain't got like a major situation, 
to where they getting a lot of money. I ain't right. no, oh, well, I'm gonna give y'all five grand. Fuck that. They didn't want that, yeah. yeah, yeah we gonna get this, this label gonna give us two, 50, 250,000 yeah. to play this record. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Those top 12 records that you know, play, so. why watch it? Fuck your shit. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, shit. yeah <laughs> fuck that. You put that, that's, you know what I'm saying? They going for the big bag. So if you ain't really got no major or really got no situation going on, radio's not fucking with you. Not for real. But there's a lot of people, uh, Streetport, I say, show love. They got a local radio station out there. They be playing a lot of shit. And uh, Lake Charles and Alexandria. Yep. Yeah, they, I, I'm tapped in with a lot of, I'm tapped in everywhere, you know what I'm saying? But I like going back to the cities and the towns and shit that be having local radio stations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to tap in. It's a lot of people that don't have fucking iTunes and Apple Music and shit like that. It's a lot of people still listen to the radio yeah, and CDs great. and shit. Like, I thought CDs died, but like, man, you go to fucking Mississippi, you're going to sell some fucking CDs, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, telling really, you. As long as, as long as the car has a CD debt. I miss the Videos. Bruh, <laughs> niggas be having the TVs yeah, and they call in the video, man. Yeah. Nah, I for real. They now be having the, uh, w, the, 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 the fucking, the, yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, for real. Now, you mentioned earlier, uh, you know, an entanglement. I know you probably, you know, you've seen what happened with, uh, you know, August Alcina and uh, Jada and Will. Has there been a situation where your partner brought you around his mama and she chose on you, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Did you ever take it anywhere, bro? Did you ever no. Take it? no That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, bro. Man, if I found out one of my homeboys hit my mama, son, we would fall out, man. Like, for real, like, man, have a for real talk, man. Like, damn, yeah, bro. But I'd fall out with my mama over some shit like that. You know what, what I'm saying? Fuck all that. You wouldn't be my mama. She really no love you, though. Like, like, fuck all that love <laughs> shit, man. You let my homeboy hit. Fuck no, man. I know my mama never do no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But, man, man. some niggas got some whole mamas, bro. bro. For real, yeah. man. <laughs> some nigga mama be hoes, man. Hey, on a scale of one to ten, how out of line was August Alcina, though? I don't know why he said something about it. I don't know, I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he be, maybe he seen, like, I don't, I don't think he been in no shit like that before. Like, what situation? Like, he don't know. He didn't, like, man, he didn't. I didn't, man, like, I didn't, I didn't kind of been in the same situation. Well, nigga was talking to a chick, and they was in a separation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 the nigga then came to the house and seen the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it ain't no shit. I just go say. Yeah, yeah. I kind of said it you just now, but I wouldn't. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. I, hey. I wouldn't just Would go you? say like, yeah, man, Lakeisha, man. Lakeisha and Steve, man. Steve gave me his blessing, told yeah, me I can fuck Lakeisha. You know what I'm saying? But I'm hurt because I see them together. They act like ain't shit happened, but something happened, you know. So I want them to feel the same hurt I'm feeling. Like just the fact that he's just the fact that I don't know why he's saying. Would you say that that's him giving his blessing? Just because he didn't. Hold on, say it again. If a nigga seen you at his girl house, they separated. He seen you in whatever. He just he just did. Okay, nigga is that, ain't is, that, get... is, that, is that a blessings given? Unless they old as fuck. And they got money or some shit like that, and there's some old type of swangle shit going on. All right, I can see that. You know what I'm saying? But if a nigga just come and see you at the house, he can't say shit. They're not together no more. I'm, I'm know he knocking them hoes down. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, so if he ain't tripping on it, why the fuck you tripping on it? If they not tripping on it, they ain't just say shit about it. Like, really? I don't know. So maybe with some type of feelings involved for making him say this. Shit. I don't what know, bro. <laughs> I feel it, I feel like it's fucked up. I feel like you should have kept a G and shouldn't have said nothing about that. That's like, damn, shit. who you know fucking Jada Pinkin? Nah, that's Man, what, I don't know that nigga, nigga. that's a nigga. I don't even think Tupac done hit. <laughs> I don't think Tupac ever hit, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't that's know. Right. I don't, but I don't, I don't know. They, a lot of people, I don't know, they say they just had a friendship, but you know, it ain't nothing to sneak off in the room, though. It ain't nothing to dip off in that bitch, and you know, like, it ain't in the You got. Willow writing letters and shit to you, man. Tell my my mama miss you. It's some fucked up shit going on over there. I ain't fucking with them. I ain't, man. I ain't, man. I wonder how many other niggas she had entanglements with. Come on, man. He a, he a new age artist, you know what I'm saying? It's probably Luther Vandross or some shit. Hey, what, what bitch you think gonna come out? What bitch you gonna come out and think it's supposed Will now? I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think we'll. Yeah, I don't think we'll. We'll. If anything, he more careful than that. I don't know, man. He more careful than that. You look, yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure it's together with Will. You know what I'm saying? He'd have been. I, I ain't never heard nothing bad about Will. I ain't never ever heard nothing bad about Will. 
fuck. And then that's why I, that's why it's fucked up. Cause I fuck with Will. And then for you to bring this, man, that man probably going through it right now, man. That man need a hug, man. Real talk, man. That's fucked up, man. Will ain't like never had no bad shit. Then one of the new age artists come around. I know he probably hate us, young niggas. Nah, I think we, nah, what? <laughs> Now, what's Bruh, more fucked on, up man. is the nigga made two fire ass songs about the shit. Oh, he made the songs, Bob? Yeah. Oh, yes. And them hoes fire. <laughs> what you do when a nigga make a fire ass diss song? <laughs> like, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck, man. He gonna, man. He, the next, he I feel like one of these movies that's finna come out in the next couple years is gonna be some shit. Like, you know, with this situation going on in it, really? though. And he gonna play the fuck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think he gonna take his feelings and put it in the movie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, that bitch gonna do a billion in the <laughs> first day. Tyler, Tyler Perry gonna run with this one. What? He gotta get, man, Tyler Perry gotta get the script, dog. <laughs> you, you got to, you gotta tap in. Yeah, man, you got to. Hold on, and he's from your state. August is from your state. Yeah, bro, Louisiana <laughs> niggas fuck homes up, man. Real talk, man. Everybody, man, be Louisiana niggas gotta take your bitch. Nigga. They be like, you know, Nigga. females like be like. Y'all gotta up for a bitch, y'all gotta text. See, but I don't hear it. You don't hear it. But that's dead, but that, they be like, oh, I like your accent. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't feel like yeah, I gotta, I they be like, say this again, you hear me? Say this. No, man, like, say this again. Ooh, I like how you said that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I said advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You heard me. Man, yeah, Jay Lewis, uh, for the rest of uh, 2020, man, what, what you got up, man? What's, uh, what, the, what can they expect? Uh, out of this whole COVID situation, out of music, out of what you got coming up? Uh, the label, for sure. So, tap in artists and send your music, you know what I'm saying? Official J. Lewis, Instagram, you know, uh, J. Lewis booking one at Gmail, send your music or whatever. We're fucking with it, you know what I'm saying? We looking for artists, talented artists. We fucking with you, you know what I'm saying? We open ears to everything, our business straight, you know what I'm saying? You don't want a nigga dancing around in your videos, man. You know what I'm saying? All that type of shit. Come fuck with us, you know? So, uh, a lot of shit. Then, I've been shooting the videos for the past month, like, one every week, you know what I'm saying? So, I got a single with me and, uh, what's his name? T2, you know, he from Baton Rouge. T T2 Pyrex, baby. We got a song, we got a single finna drop called Extra. That bitch cold, bro. That bitch cold. We just shot the video two days ago for that. It's done already, though. But, uh, man, work, bro. Work, 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 nonstop. Going in. There you go, man. You got any yeah. uh, shout outs you want to give? Yeah, man. Shout out to the whole Skyline, you hear me? Shout out to Lock Street, 1900s. Well, you hear me? Shout out to my dog, Mook James, the whole 807 Empire, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mama, you hear me? Shout out to God, you know? Yeah, you know. I know what it is, man. Jay, man, yeah. I appreciate you coming through, touching down in Dallas, man. Fuck up the people. Yeah, Definitely yeah. a blessing, man. You ain't got to say it too much, man. You are a real life street star, man. We salute you, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you hey. for having me, man. Definitely. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.